Hello again, YouTube viewers. It's uh, Darren from Cody TV Boxes. Uh, after excuse me, the monitor's just turned over. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick reset, uh, a proper hard reset on the, uh, one of these T8 boxes. Uh, if you get yourself into trouble, um, either the Android side or the uh, XBMC side, basically this is just going to do a hard reset, and hopefully uh, this should demonstrate it. Uh, it's going to turn the video over, uh, the, HD, over the screen over to HDMI, even if I'm going to spit my words out. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. It's going to push your cocktail sticker down until it clicks. Don't know if you can hear that. And press the power button. Keep holding the cocktail stick in now. Takes about 20 seconds to go into recovery mode. That's it. There we go. Pop some underneath it there. Okay. Now I don't know if you can see this on the screen. I'm struggling. Uh, basically, it says the top one. It says reboot system now. The second one says apply updates from ADB. The third one down says apply updates from EXT. Uh, the fourth one down says apply updates from Cache. Uh, we want the next one down, which says Wipe Data Factory Reset. So we just get the remote control. I don't know if you can actually see that on the screen. Or not. Maybe if I come in a bit closer, you may be able to. I think you can see that now. Okay, well, now move that down to where it says Wipe Data Factory Reset. I'm going to press OK, and it's going to ask me basically to confirm it. So move down to where it says yes. Press OK. Now at the bottom, if you can see it at the bottom now, I've moved away. It says uh, wiping data, formatting data in yellow at the bottom. Just move that out a little bit. Now it says formatting cache. Data wipe complete. Okay, then we're just going to go down to the bottom one. Well, sorry, second one from bottom. And that says wipe cache partition. So we're going to press OK. Now, if you read the information, it's already wiped that, but I'm advised on Android SOCs, uh, which is system on chips, to uh, f basically fuss the cache three times. So once it does it in the wiping data, and uh, just wipe it twice there. So if you just follow that, it's very simple. Okay, now basically that's reset the box now. If we go to reboot system now, that's reset the box back to a completely fresh install. Just let it boot up. Now you might, like I say, you may, you may never need to do this, but it's there, the option's there if you ever get yourself into trouble. So we're gonna have to go through a few basic settings. doing this in real time, it only takes a few seconds, it's basically what it's doing now in the background, it's actually installing all, well, lots of apps and lots of different things that's in the pre-install folder, um, you'll see at the moment when, when we go back into it, it's still installing apps, it takes a while because they're a, uh, APK files, it's like on basically the unzip it and then obviously install it, so it takes a while. Okay, now you come to this screen here. Obviously, it's a welcome screen, so asking you to press next. Asking if you want it in English. Press OK. Um, you can adjust your size of your screen. Now, as in previous videos, if you watch them, 92% tends to fit to 
to most of my screen, well all of my screen, so hopefully it will do the same for you, press OK. Now in this case I'm going to select, uh, go to Ethernet, press OK. Oh, I've got no cable connected, just give me a second. There we go, it's picked up an IP. And go to finish. Now if we go to apps, move across, press OK. If you come down to the bottom here, give it time because when you get to the bottom, oh we might, might have already done it actually. Generally speaking, when you get to this stage, you can normally come to the here and you'll see them still installing. Um, but the ones we've installed, by the looks of it, on the pre-install, I think there's just one just gone on there, look. Uh, we had um, SFT, SFTP, there you go, there's another one just installed, oh, XPMC's just installed. We had um, the PIA VPN option for you there. That one there. Um, Aptoid, we had that. There's some internet security which is there, and also malware bytes. I think there. There you go. So there's a few different apps on there um, that we've added, uh, and as I say, that's installed. Now, basically, what you do now is you'd follow the other video to install the wizard via XPMC. I'm not going to go into that now. There's no need for it. Um, and that's it, really. I just wanted to leave it there. I think we've covered everything. Any questions? Please ask. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, and hopefully, catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.